In sweep number 11, we use the rainbow factor again, this time for subtraction. Now, of course, the easy part of this is that all the sums in the rainbow fact equal 10 or are 10. And so all the subtraction facts start with 10. So they're 10 take away something and we'll find out the result. I'd call the two numbers complements of each other because they both add together to make 10 and one forms the gap for the other one, I suppose. So um, there are only six different number facts, including the zero take away, uh, sorry, the 10 take away zero fact. Here's the one in the middle, 10 take away five. Whichever way we put this, it's going to be easy to see the result. So we can have a row of five and another row of five in different colors, or this one, which is, of course is a pairs arrangement. And we'll ask the students to imagine taking away the number. Um, we can also show this with the same colored counters. So we can mix it up a bit, make it a little bit more challenging for students. But providing they already know, they already know their addition pairs to 10, I should point out that some people refer to this as a build to 10 strategy. That's another um, way of referring to it. Um, in the subtraction facts, providing the students have already memorized the addition pairs to 10, the rainbow facts or build to 10 facts, then um, these subtraction facts shouldn't be too hard. Again, we can look at number fact families. They all have a 10 in them. Here's um, an example. And that's it for this one.